Um, Asisa, why it's so essential to harmonize your being? I'm still, you know, re-engaging here into the idea of galactivation, right? The idea that you have four set play which are really sponsoring human evolution. And in this process of sponsoring human evolution, there is lots of energy that is coming into our system. So our job here is to be able to integrate those forces, integrate this intelligence, this energy and this inspiration that is coming into our being. And to do that, we need to be able to circulate energy to enter into a flow, which is a flow of harmonization. You see the idea of love, right? The idea of openness, the idea of love is the idea of connection and unification. The idea of hatred is the idea of separation. So when there is friction, you know, there's friction between entities, friction between uh, different parts of your being, what tends to happen is that this friction creates a fire and at a certain moment it creates pain. So you have pain because there is friction and because there is separation. So what we need to do in the process of integrating cosmic, galactic energies, integrating the spirit, is creating bridges of energy, harmonizing and circulating energy where it's not circulating. You know, if you have two beings who are there in hatred, holding the hatred and holding the lack of communication, the lack of exchange, you know, the lack of love towards each other, what's going to happen is that this tension is going to be sustained. And imagine now, now that there is empowerment, that there is energy coming into those two entities which are ready to fight. The moment energy starts building up, the intensity of the hatred or the intensity of the fighting power, the intensity of the lack of harmony is going to, to increase. And then the battle between those two forces is going to be more explosive and more destructive. This is why the spirit is waiting for us to harmonize our relationships, waiting for us to harmonize our connection to nature. You know, if we are given technology and we use this technology to destroy the planet or to destroy each other, to enter into wars between nations, you know, of course the spirit goes like, it's wise. It says, well, we cannot provide you all the power and all the evolutionary technology that we want because you have to harmonize first. This is why it's essential to harmonize. This is why it's essential to harmonize inside of you. You know, this is why we practice yoga. You think that yoga is just like a nice physical discipline? No, it's it's a discipline or it's a set of techniques, physical yoga, hatha yoga, it's there to harmonize our beings, to be able to take more flow, to be able to take more energy so that the bliss saturation level doesn't, doesn't break you. <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of logical. And so when it comes to, you know, interpersonal relationships, it's the same thing. When it comes to human systems, you know, imagine that these forces are empowering organizations, right? Empowering human systems. And these organizations use that power to lock the human spirit, to lock the freedom and make people really unhappy. These forces cannot empower, they cannot, you know, increase the energy of these systems. First, we need to harmonize. We need to do our part to harmonize absolutely everything that is happening on this planet, you know and human cruelty towards animals, towards nature, you know, the destruction or the use of technology to create wars and all this stuff. And, you know, the ongoing conflicts, the ongoing dissonances in, in families and couples, you know, the, the education system that, that limits, um, you know, the human spirit or uh, the, the, the free thinking process, you know, there is a lot of dissonance that is happening on the planet and we are doing really well with trying to harmonize all that. You know, it's not that we are not functioning well as human race, we are functioning. There is lots of things that function really well, but we can do better and keep on moving into this direction of harmonization. This is a call, you know, it's something that I feel that there are forces out there which are ready to engage, but we need to get our shit together as a human race, <laughs> individually and as a human race as well. I hope this makes sense. <laughs> We're in for a great adventure for the next few million years, but let's move forward, right? Let's do something about this. I love you.